you must have noticed that, normally, Excel sheets can be edited by any user. Let us see this Excel sheet. I can edit one or more cell data. I can even delete any raw to remove the complete record. That means, by one or other reason, if any other person is using or accessing your PC for a while, and if he or she opens any Excel file present in your PC, he can not only see the content, he can also easily modify the data. This could be serious threat to confidential business data or personal data. The reason behind the above threat is, even though there are enough security options available in Excel, normal Excel users don't know the security features offered by Excel. So today in this video, we are going to cover all security features provided by Excel. There are five types of securities in Microsoft Excel. These are, sheet level security, cell level security, workbook level security, document level security, and business logic security. We will be covering all these aspects of Excel securities in this video. Worksheet level security. Just now you have seen that anyone can edit anyone's Excel sheets, you may want to add protection to worksheets so that it can't be edited by other people. This would be particularly useful in business environments. Let us take the same worksheet, having students' exams marks record. We don't want anyone to make any changes to this worksheet. So what we'll do is we'll go to the Review tab, and we will select this option Protect Sheet. To protect the worksheet, it's asking us for a password, and this would be the password we will need to use when we want to make changes to the worksheet. Type in the password you want to set. Say for example, ABC, and press OK button. It will prompt to re-enter the same password to confirm. Type again the same password and press OK button. Sheet got protected. Let us try to edit this cell. It won't. Immediately, message window pops up. It says, if you want to make changes to the cell, you need to unprotect the sheet. Any user, other than you, will not have password that you have set, so he or she can't make any changes to the sheet. And our sheet data are safe enough. Even if, anyone try to delete any row, he cannot. You can see that delete option is automatically disabled. But at the same time, if the original owner of this sheet, want to edit this sheet, he can. Just go to the Review tab and click on Protect Sheet. He will be prompt for password. As he know the password, there won't be any problem. He need to supply the password that was set. If password given is correct, sheet will get unlocked. Let us check by editing some record. Say for example, we need to add middle name initials to the name Adil Khan. Simply click that cell and edit. Once required editing is done, we can again lock the sheet data by protect sheet button. Supply password as done earlier. Need to confirm the password by re-entering the same password. That's it. Sheet is protected back and no one can change any cell data. So, out of five types of securities, we have covered sheet level security. Now, let us cover second type of security, namely, cell level security. Let us see another real-life scenario. Look at this sheet. This contain our client list whose payment are due and you want that your assistant to call all these people and ask them to pay due. But, you are worried about the fact that he may delete certain records then it become difficult for you to see who has paid and who all are skipped. So you may think that okay, then protect the sheet, correct? No, because, you may also want that your assistant who is calling these people, should also write down what was the answer from other end. That is, when is he or she willing to pay, or whether his phone was out of reach or some other reason. You want that, phone call repunch should be noted down in the same sheet in each client's record for future action. So now you cannot protect the sheet as if sheet is protected, he or she cannot write in it. And if we give password so that he can write in the cells, we are worried as if he she may also delete some records. So what to do? Let me summarize the problem. We want that our assistant should write client response in this column. At the same time, 
he must be restricted to edit any records of the clients. The solution to this is give him full access only on this particular column. How to do that? Let us do it. First of all, unprotect the sheet in case you have protected. So, this sheet is normal and unprotected. Now go to the same review tab. While in the review tab, click allow users to edit ranges. Small window has pops up asking you what cell range we want to allow. Here, click on new. Click in the box to select the range. And select the cells, where you want to give all power to any user. In our present case, we want that our assistant should able to write client response in this column. Correct? So let us select all cells of this column by dragging mouse over it. Confirm that exactly that cells are only selected where we want to give rights. Press OK. Now, we will have to protect our sheet as usual. Go to Review tab and in that Protect Sheet button, type in some password. And press OK. It will prompt to confirm the password we just typed. Re-enter the same password. And press OK. Now, our whole sheet is protected. At the same time, our assistant can still write in call response column as we have kept that open. Let us check. Select any protected cell. Try to edit. See, error message has come. But at the same time. The call response column is open for adding whatsoever one want to add. Lay us add some text, as if we got some response from different clients. We can see that call response can be added very smoothly. But, moment anyone try to edit any other cells, he or she is not allowed. Summarizing cell level security. Let us summarize steps involved in this method. Step 1. From the Review tab, select the Allow Users to Edit Ranges. Step 2. Select the range that you want to protect. Step 3. Then protect the sheet. That's it. Our sheet is protected and still we can edit specific cells. Let us have a look at another scenario using this example. Let us do some entry in the sheet. You could have noticed that total marks, percentage and grade are automatically calculated by the respective formula in that cells. So, what we want is that, teacher can add marks in the sheet, but at the same time formulas should not be edited, even by mistake. So we want all formula cells to be protected. Also we need that the header should also be protected from any changes. In short, in this scenario, we want to give right access to majority of cells, except few. How to achieve this? You may think by the same way we did earlier. How is it different from earlier scenario? I tell you the difference. In earlier scenario, we were interested to give permission on few cells. While in this example, we have to lock few cells. Let me try to explain by this diagram. In earlier example, where we need to give write on few cells so we use that method in which we have to just select some cells to give writes. While in this example of school mark sheet, we need to give right to almost all cells of sheet except on header and on formula cells. So in this school mark sheet example, instead of giving rights on so many cells, and that becomes tedious work. So we use a perk to lock few cells only. So how to do it? We will lock these few cells of the sheets. Before we do practically, let me show the steps involved in that. We need to do in three steps. Step 1. Select all cells of the sheet, and in properties of the cell, uncheck the checkbox of lock, and thereby remove lock from all cells. Step 2, select the cells which you want to protect. Like, header cells, cells containing formulas, etc. And in its properties, check the checkbox of lock, and thereby lock all that important cells. And step 3, now protect the sheet, as usual, by clicking review and then protect sheet. Let us do practically. Click on the top left corner of the cells. All cells get selected. Right click. And go to the format cells. In that, click on the protection tab. You can see that checkbox for locked property is checked, because by default all cells are locked. Uncheck that box. Thereby we are unlocking all cells. 
Click OK to save this and close this dialog box. Click on any cell to deselect all these cells. Now, as shown, select the header of our data, which we would like to protect. Right click, and click on Format Cells, and click the checkbox. To mark all these selected cells to get protected. Similarly, select all cells having formulas. We would also like to protect these cells from any unwanted modification. Same way, right click and go to Format Cells property. And lock the cells by clicking Locked checkbox. These way, Outsheet's important formulas and header are protected. But wait. These protection will be effective only when our worksheet is also protected. So, let us do that. As we did earlier, click on Protect Sheet and set some password. Confirm the password. Let us check our work. Add marks of the student. Total, percentage, and grade calculated automatically by formula. If we try to manually edit formula cell, we are not allowed. While, as we required, adding grades in other cells are allowed. But, the moment you try to edit header, which is locked, you get message that it can't be done. Let us summarize cell level security in Excel. It involves three steps. Step 1, remove lock from all cells. Step 2, lock all that important cells. And then protect the sheet, as usual. Summarizing cell level security. We have seen in this video that, depending on our requirement, we can achieve cell level security in two different ways. Method 1. We just allow access on few cells. Rest of sheet is locked, while in method 2, we restrict few cells and allowing full access on the rest part of the sheet. Thus, using cell level security, we can lock certain cells, while allowing to work on rest of the sheet smoothly. So in this video, out of five types of securities, we have covered sheet level security and cell level security. We will be covering remaining three types of securities in part two video. Understanding all these different securities offered by Excel, you may feel more comfortable about your data in Excel more secured. But let me warn you, these securities are not that strong and anybody with some knowledge can break these security. So don't rely on these security if your data in the Excel sheets are of top confidentiality or too sensitive. But for routine office work, these securities are of really great use. That's all for now. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And for more of these videos don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can get updates when new videos come out.